Sammy Guevara, Sammy Guevara, Sammy Guevara. Dang, Sammy Guevara, man. What happened, bro? What happened? Huh. Sammy Guevara. What happened between you and the inner circle? Mm. <laughs> What's going on guys? It's your boy Alice here and welcome back to another video on this channel today. We're gonna be looking at Sammy Guevara in the inner circle. What happened? Um, the first clip we're gonna look at is with him and MJF talking and trying to work things out. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. And three, two, one. Right. Sammy! Man, I was just right. looking for you. Guys, I need a minute with him. You good? We're good, guys. Wardlow, you too. You too? Cameraman stays. Well, there you go, Sammy. You have the room. What would you like to talk about? I watched last week. I know exactly what you're doing. Mm. See, you keep alluding to this week after week, so let me, let me hear it. Max, I know you're trying to take over the inner circle. <laughs> Is that right? Yeah. It is. It's obvious. Yes. Come on, every single week you make it's it obvious. obvious and obvious more and it's more. Obvious. You know what, Sammy? You know what I think? When I first got into the inner circle, at first I thought this was just childish, petty rivalry from you. Because, let's face it, I thought you were jealous, Sammy. And why wouldn't you be? I mean, you were the apple of Chris Jericho's eye. And then, in I walk, and the sex gods dies, and MJF's the new favorite. But then I realized, Sammy... Something much more sinister than that. No, no, it's not jealousy. I think you hate Chris Jericho. I think you hate his guts. I think you hate the fact that you have to play second fiddle to him. You feel you should be the front man, front and center, Sammy Guevara. I think you're upset because you want to take over the inner circle. <laughs> right, right. Okay, Max, you figured me out. I'm trying to take over the inner circle, right? I hate Chris Jericho, right? Is that what you want to hear? <laughs> Actually, Sammy, that is exactly what I wanted to hear. Hey, what are you doing, man? That's my phone. Are you recording me? What are you not? What are you doing? Oh. Mm. Good one right there, man. I ain't gonna lie. But yeah, man, that was pretty good. Um, next clip. Okay, let's not waste our time. Oh, oh, oh let me stop. Let me stop. Let me stop. Let me stop. Okay, what y'all think about that first clip? I ain't gonna lie, it was pretty good. So, I think. The next clip. Do I have another clip? No. Okay, I got one more clip, and then I'll be it. Let's get straight into it. When people hear the name Fred Hampton, they should think about healing and loving. When I dedicated my life to people, I dedicated my life. Keep listening to Black Messiah Rated R in theaters and streaming exclusively on HBO Max. What's the problem here, man? Gotta check it out. Hold up. Too much, too much, too much, too much. Caster, caster. Okay. All right, MJF and Jericho teaming up. All right. Sammy drops a bo Sammy drops a bombshell on the inner circle, and there's no turning back. All right, let's get straight into it. Caster, big hip toss over the top and Caster. Effective. Caster needs to make that long crawl 
across the ring. MJF makes the tag up to Jericho. Bowens tagged in, comes up over the top and just trucks Jericho with the shoulder tag. Right hands. Boy, Bowen, how about that right hand? Okay. This kid's a great oh. striker, I can tell you that. He is a great striker, JR. Man, he really, really is. He's got natural punching power. He left over Jericho there, hit a beautiful drop kick. That gets a 10. Watch out from behind. Bowens now with MJ up, up on the shoulder. Not even the rack. Oh, oh not even the rack. Okay. And drove his midsection down into the canvas. Oh, man, Ortiz just got dropped. Oh, that was Ortiz. Who was that? Chris Jericho with the crush off across the windpipe. And oh, oh, he was going for the lion salt. Caster with the boom box. He's drawn oh, to the two. Oh. oh, so close. Oh, my God. What we were about to witness. It would have been an upset of epic proportions here. If they would have pinned Jericho. We would have seen the number four contenders in the tag team division knock off the number one contenders. Jericho brought... Oh, oh God. Bones playing him down. They're looking for a claim to fame. Their tag team finisher. Here comes the claim to fame. He's got it. Max Caster going up to the... Oh, he missed. just wiped out on the outside. Oh, Caster pushed push by Hager from the inside. Oh, the mm. Judas effect. Okay. They really pushed him. Somehow, Chris Jericho would, and MJF were able to okay. weather the storm of the acclaim. Uh, hey, I'm not going to be surprised if someday we wake up, up, take a deep look in the inner circle and see every champion in AEW a member of that organization. It's very, very possible. Well, it will be Chris Jericho and MJF buying for the AEW world. What is this? Guevara, Guevara. Guevara's music. Well, this is going to be really interesting. Sammy's got something to say. He's got the mic. He's fearless. Looking right in the front yard and looking all the other dogs right in the eye. What's the problem here, man? You come out five minutes late, then I hear you punch Max in the stomach. You're smashing his phone. What's wrong with you? What's the, what's the problem? Huh? Chris? What? I told you. I told you December 9th, 2020, right here on Dynamite. If one more thing happened with him, that I was done. And so I'm out here to tell you, I'm done. What do you mean that you're done? What do you mean? I mean, I'm done. I mean, I quit the inner circle. Oh. Sammy Guevara was one of the foundational members of the inner circle. Absolutely. At one time, very close. Chris Jericho. And he's walking out. You know, we're going to have to we're going to have to get more on this. Can we get Alex Marvez or somebody to talk to him as he's walking out? Very upset is Chris Jericho. Bro, that's that was good, right? I ain't gonna lie, that was good. But I think what's gonna happen next, bro. Because if Jericho and, and, and MJF lose to the Young Bucks at Revolution, then I think I think I think the inner circle is gonna fold. You know what I'm saying? I just feel like they're gonna fold. You know what I'm saying? Like I think Jericho turns on MJF. Now I would how, 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 I thought, how I thought it was going to happen is I thought Jericho and MJF was going to turn on turn on, um, turn on Sammy. That's what I thought it was going to happen, but hey, he quit. And 
he's going through that baby face phase right now. You know what I'm saying? Um, hopefully, he will be the next TNT champ because I think he'll be the next, the next, the next, the next one to get it. So yeah. Um, but yeah, that's basically it. If Jericho or MJF loses the titles, I mean, loses to the Young Bucks at Revolution, then they're gonna fold. So, yeah. But. So yeah, I just, yeah, I just, I just see, I, I see it coming, bro. I just see them going to, I just see the answer going to disband once they lose to the Young Bucks or. MJF getting kicked out because MJF is the whole reason why Sammy why Sammy left. Let's be real, he he's the reason. So yeah. Um. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Tomorrow will we tomorrow will we will be taking a look at Big Shot Lee Johnson and what he did. Um. My reaction. Um. Tomorrow. Then Sunday we're saving it. We're saving the best for last. We got we got your boy Kenta and Omega versus Moxley and Archer. Um, Kenta only came for one reason, and that was to to be Moxley. All right. Um, like, comment, subscribe. I'm out.